is Adriana from Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here bringing you an interpreted story time in partnership with Saskatchewan Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. And since I'm alone in this library right now, I'm going to remove my mask so that you can hear me and understand me a bit better. And I want to also acknowledge that we're here on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. And since it's winter time, I thought we'd make our story time today all about cold and snow. Everyone's favorite. What are your favorite things to do in the snow? I really like skiing. I like cross country skiing or snowshoeing or sometimes may having snowball fights. How about you? And I thought we'd start today with our Hello Friends song that I'm gonna play on ukulele. And it goes like this. Hello. story I want to share with you is a classic by one of my favorites, Robert Munch, called Thomas's Snowsuit. Do you have a snowsuit that you like to wear when you go outside? I do. And having a snowsuit is great because then you get to roll around in the snow and not worry about getting so wet and cold. So this is Thomas's Snowsuit, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Martin Martinchenko. One day, Thomas's mother got him a brand new brown snowsuit. When Thomas said that, he said, yuck, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. If you think I'm going to wear that, you must be cuckoo. Thomas's mother said, well, we'll see about that. And the very next day, Thomas's mother said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no! Well, Thomas's mother was so angry, she jumped up and down. And then she yelled even louder. Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. Well, Thomas's mother grabbed Thomas in one hand, the snowsuit in the other, and they got into an enormous fight. In the end, Whew. Thomas was in his snowsuit. And then Thomas went off to school. And when it was recess, bling, all the kids jumped into their snowsuits zzzz, and ran outside to play. Everyone except for who do you think? That's right, Thomas. So Thomas's teacher said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas went, no. Well, Thomas's teacher was so mad. She jumped up and down ah, and said even louder, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas went, no. So the teacher picked up Thomas in one hand, the snowsuit in the other, and then they got into an enormous fight. <laughs> And in the end, Thomas was in the teacher's clothes and the teacher was in Thomas's snowsuit. <gasps> when the teacher saw what had happened, she grabbed Thomas again and they got into another enormous fight. <gasps> and in the end, they were both in their underwear. And suddenly, there was a knock on the door. And in walked the principal. Do you think the principal was impressed? The principal said, what's going on here? And the teacher said, it's Thomas. He won't put on his snowsuit. So the principal used their very best stern principal face. What do you think that looks like? Maybe like this. And the principal said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. <gasps> well, the principal was so mad, they jumped up and down and said even angrier, Thomas, 
put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. Well, the principal grabbed the teacher, Thomas, the snowsuit, and they all got into an enormous fight. <gasps> and in the end, the teacher and the principal were wearing each other's clothes and Thomas was still in his underwear. Oh boy. And then from way outside, someone had yelled, Thomas, come out and play. And then in one second flat, Thomas jumped into his snowsuit and ran outside to play. <gasps> then the principal looked at the teacher and said, hey, you have my clothes on. Take them off right now. And the teacher said, oh no, you have my clothes on. You take off those first. Well, they argued and argued and no one wanted to get dressed first. So Thomas came in from recess when it was over and he saw the teacher and the principal having a fight. <laughs> so he just grabbed them both by each hand and they got into one final fight. You ready? <gasps> and in the end, everyone was finally back into their own clothes. Phew. And the next day, the principal quit their job and moved to Arizona where it's so hot, no one ever has to wear a snowsuit. The end. Does anyone out there like to build snowmen? I do. So I have a quick rhyme or song called I'm a Little Snowman, and it's set to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. And it goes like this. I am a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons and here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I can't play. Why do you think that is? Because I just slowly melt away. Goodbye. Let's do that one again. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons and here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I can't play because I just slowly melt away. Oh, goodbye. And now I wanted to share a book with you called When the Trees Crackle with Cold a Cree calendar. And this was written by two Saskatchewan authors, Bernice Johnson Laxdale and Miriam Corner. And these are two Saskatchewan authors who wrote this based on their experiences living in Isle of Cross. And they wrote this book based on the Cree calendar of six different seasons split up into 12 different moon cycles. And I am not a Cree speaker fluently, and I'm going to do my best with the Cree pronunciations provided. January, Kisipisin, the great moon. When the great moon rises over the silent forest and the bear sleeps safely in her den. Can we sleep like a bear? We bring in wood to protect us from the cold. You know, that's one of my favorite parts of winter, is that silence in the air when it's so quiet. February, Migisa Weepisin, the eagle moon. When the eagle returns to the riverbank and dad comes home to sell his fur, we catch a ride on his toboggan. <gasps> Look at that. I have always wanted to be pulled by a sled dog. I have a very big dog who I think would be really good at it. March, the goose moon, Niskipisim. You know, March is when my birthday is. So then it happens to be one of my favorite months. And it's usually when winter's finally starting to end. When the geese announce the arrival of spring, we clean up the yard with moth. Can we honk like a goose? Honk, honk. 
It's always a sign that spring's coming back when all those birds arrive again. April, the frog moon, Ayi Kipisin. When the frog song rises from the stillness of the slough, we prepare the garden for a new growing season. Can we make some frog sound? Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> well, means it's time to garden. May is the leaf budding moon. Sagi Paka Weepisin. When the trees give birth to young green leaves and the loon lays her eggs along the lake shore's edge, we go gill netting with Mushum, Grandpa. Oh, look at all those birds. June, the egg hatching moon. Peskawi Howie peace in. When the young birds break their fragile shells. We go on a picnic for the day. You know, winter is still just starting, but I already miss picnics. July is the feather melting moon. Peskawipisim. When the waterfowl's feathers float in the summer's breeze, we smoke fish at summer camp. You know, my husband's family is so good at smoking fish. It's a delicious treat. I'm pretty lucky to have that in my life. August, the flying up moon. Opuhu weepisim. When the young birds practice using their wings. Can we practice using our wings like a baby bird? We pick blueberries in the old fern. Has anyone out there gone berry picking before? I have. There's lots of good places to find in Saskatchewan to find some good berries. September, the rutting moon. Nutsi Tawipisim. When the bull moose's call, echo calls across the lake. We go hunting in our canoe. Can you make a moose call? I've never heard a moose. <laughs> what I assume it sounds like while you're canoeing. October, the migrating moon. Pimi Hawipisim. When the birds all leave, goodbye. When the birds begin their long flight south, we can cranberries for the cold winter to come. Doesn't that look cozy in their warm house away from the cold outside? November, the hoarfrost moon. I love hoarfrost, it's beautiful. When the hoarfrost flowers grow on the leafless trees, we sort beads for a new pair of moccasins. December, the frost exploding moon. Look at that beautiful frost. December, the frost exploding moon. Puwasugan usizipisin. When the trees crackle with cold, we stay close to home. Cookham tells us stories of times long past while we sew moose hide mittens for Christmas gifts. Look at that. Doesn't that look cozy? And that's the end of When the Trees Crackle with Cold, a Cree calendar. And since it's winter, I thought I'd share a quick song with you to the tune of The More We Get Together called Come Sing a Song of Winter. That goes like this. Oh, come sing a song of winter. Goodbye.